Hi, I'm Charles Anderson with Golden Fuel Systems. Today we're going to uh, be doing some tests on our test bench. We're going to be doing some flow tests uh, for a lot of the valves that are commonly used in uh, waste vegetable oil systems. One of the complaints that people have most often is restriction in their fuel system that causes poor performance in the vehicle. Most of the time this is due to a clogged filter, but sometimes the components used in an SVO system can contribute to that. Even though this may be a small factor, this added up with a lot of other small things could lead to, to unnecessary restriction in the system. So our theory is that we make sure that we have the least restrictive components, or at least ones that are, are uh, have enough open flow that they're not going to cause or add to an overall problem. We'll note here that the temperature of this oil that we're going to be using is 62 degrees, 62.8 to be exact. And each time that we do a flow test, we're going to go ahead and add back in so that each valve has the same uh, exact head pressure here pushing through it. And we're going to test 500 milliliters and we're going to see how long it, it takes it to do it. These are just relative numbers in between all of these valves. I don't want anybody to jump to too many conclusions and think that if they've got one of these other valves on their system, whether it be a GFS system or uh, a competitor system, I don't want you to immediately run out and rip it off of there, but uh, this is just meant to be a tool so that people can uh, figure out the relative uh, flow rates between these various valves. The first valve we're going to test is our exclusive Golden Fuels valve. This valve is used uh, mostly on uh, small uh, light duty trucks and uh, small sedans and things of that nature. Generally something that's going to get uh, better than 10 miles per gallon. This is the valve that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and start this test here. What we're going to do is I'm going to open this valve and hit the start stop button on our timer at the same time. So here we go. The flow is going quite well, got nice clean oil there, and we're at 500 milliliters right now. All right, so it took 39 seconds to flow 500 milliliters. Now we don't have anything to compare that to, so until we get the next valve on there, we're not going to know uh, what that number means. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, pour this so that we'll have the same head pressure for the next and now we need to change out our valves. All right, the next valve that we're going to put on the test bench is uh, the Golden Fuel Systems valve that we use for commercial applications. It's a stainless steel valve. It's got uh, directional banjo fittings all the way around. Uh, it's very heavy, robust, and uh, has uh, very large internal orifices. So here we go. I almost think I was about a half a second too slow on the uh, opening of the valve, but it is what it is. We'll go ahead and watch it and see how she does. Coming up to 500 milliliters right now. All right, 38 seconds is what uh, we flowed on that one. All right, as we see the uh, flow rate on the industrial valve uh, for the commercial systems uh, versus the smaller valves, was actually fairly close. Both of these valves have a very good uh, flow rate. One's uh, a little more heavy duty than the other one, but uh, the flow rate is very similar to those, and, and uh, it's a very good uh, commentary that uh, this small valve here has a similar flow rate to the large one here. All right, well, next, we're gonna set up a, uh, this is the Pollock three port valve. Uh, used them for years for a lot of applications. They're uh, very uh, suitable, but we do have some plastic components here and uh, these other valves are definitely a step up, but a lot of people use these, so as a matter of uh, information, we're gonna go ahead and run a test on these. So we'll get uh, our oil poured back in and get set up. Okay. These valves, uh, they always did have a pretty good uh, flow rate. They're not really robust. Uh, not near as robust as some of the other valves out there, but uh, you know, for what we had at the time back in the day, those were pretty decent valves. So we're flowing here, we're at about 22 seconds, uh, about halfway there. Coming on to 500 milliliters, right about now. All right, so that one was 42 seconds. 
Uh, definitely nothing to sneeze about. It wasn't that bad at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up the next valve, which is the Pollux 6 port. On our mark, set, go. All right, we've got our flow started here. One thing that I was pointing out is that these uh, Pollux 6 ports are widely in use. We used them for years. Uh, they're a good valve, got a very low failure rate. But again, the uh, plastic construction of them uh, means that they're not quite as robust as some of these uh, valves that have the metal components. Getting ready and mark. 39 seconds. So uh, still with these, we're still in the zone uh, with these other valves. And uh, let's go ahead and get our next one up for test. Now next we have a hydroforce valve here. Uh, there are several flow rates in the hydroforce. This apparently is a low flow one. Uh, we'll go ahead and start the timer. All right, as you can see, uh, this is going to take a while. These are a spindle valve and they, uh, the internals of them are more designed for high pressure hydraulic scenarios. So a gravity flow situation, unless you know, you're talking 1000 PSI, the flow rates just aren't going to come up. And in uh, straight vegetable oil conversion scenarios, a lot of times you're in a vacuum situation. And so this is something to take into consideration if you're trying to put a valve like this on a vehicle uh, like a big truck or a semi or a box truck that's going to be pulling a lot of fuel, this uh, is definitely not uh, something that's going to contribute to the open flow of your fuel system. We'll go ahead and uh, stop it there. Four minutes and four seconds. So as you can see, uh, this here, when we're talking a half a minute or a little more for some of uh, the other valves, this right here is a highly restrictive valve. All right, here we've got a uh, higher flow Hydroforce valve. This is the highest flow that you can uh, purchase from Hydroforce. We're gonna go ahead and start our test here, uh, starting now. Okay. As we can see there, uh, it's better than the other Hydroforce, but uh, still not up to par as some of the other ones. So we'll go ahead and uh, let that run and come back to you when we're getting close. And we'll call it right about there minute and 15 seconds. So as you can see, a, a vast improvement over the, uh, the other Hydroforce valve, but compared to some of the others, it's almost uh, double. So, you know, the, the high flow Hydroforces can work in uh, very limited situations, but there again, definitely would not want to put this on a vehicle that uh, uses a lot of, of fuel. Okay, so uh, lastly, we have the uh, this valve, this particular one's made by Parker. Hydroforce also makes an identical one. Uh, same style as, as uh, these right here, but as you can see, much larger. We're ready to start right now. 500 milliliters right now. All right, 47 seconds for this large valve. Uh, you know, it was in the range of performing of some of these other valves, but as you can see, Compared to some of these, this outperformed it, and the sheer size is staggering on uh, how much bigger this valve is. It's extremely heavy, and as you can imagine, a chunk of steel or aluminum, whichever metal you chose to get it in, would be extremely expensive. 